Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here, and we're gonna get to the business of compressing your giant ROMs. Now we're gonna start off on the Windows side, which will actually work just fine if you have a Steam Deck or a Windows-based uh, computer or handheld. First thing we're gonna do is grab the namdhc.zip file, and we'll extract it just like you would any other uh, zip file. You choose the tool. So we'll just extract it here with WinRAR, and it's gonna dump out two executable files. Now I've taken the liberty of gathering up a ton of large source files here for us to work with. I'm talking games from almost every platform, ISOs, bin queues, uh, CCD files, IMG files, bin queues that have a track list, everything. It's a complete nightmare and a complete mess. 24.6 gigabytes is how big it is. That's a pretty decent chunk of change. So we're going to use this tool, NAM DHC, to actually run as a front end for CHD man. So all of these settings should pretty much be ready to go. We're gonna add a folder and we're gonna add our source files, which is where all those folders and files were. And there you go. You can see it picked up all of the ones that it supports. We've got quite a few of them in here. All you really have to do now is choose an output folder, which I have one called compressed files and hit uh, create CHD. And we're off. Now, again, depending on your computer, how many files, the size of the files, all of this could take a much greater time than what you're seeing here. And there can be errors, but we're gonna take a look at that a little bit closer here in just a moment. What's important to realize though, is that um, this is a lot faster typically on a Windows machine than it is on Steam Deck. Okay, so now we have an error report. We'll go ahead and say, uh, yes, we wanna see the error report because we have at least two down there that failed. It says one error, but there are two files that didn't compress. And we're gonna look at those and of course, they're at the bottom here and they're the big ones, right? Champions of Norath and God of War 2. Both are big and, uh, you know, so maybe we need to do them, I don't know, maybe one at a time. You can try doing that. The point is, is this interface isn't perfect. It's just here to help you out. You can see it left the two cute here though. That was very nice of them. But maybe, maybe if we do them one at a time. So here we're doing them one at a time and we're gonna see if it times out still. Obviously, if I'm still talking about it, it's going to time out again. So how do you fix that? What if they always time out? How can you how can you fix it? You can't make your computer any faster, right? So I'm gonna give you a little secret here. If you're doing them one at a time, what happens is, is there's a thread that's running this job in the background and the UI suddenly can't see it, so it thinks there's an error. If you go to your task manager, right click the task bar and hit task manager and go over to the details tab, you will indeed see that CHD Man is still running. That's right, that game is still compressing in the background, the UI just lost track of it. So you let it sit there, you bring it up, and see here's God of War 2, which is the one we were working on, 4.91 gigabytes. Now we're gonna sit here and wait for a minute, and we'll see if it grows in size, then we know it's still working, right? Or of course we could always go back and look at the task manager again. So in this case, oh, look at that, it just changed size. So we know it's still working in the background somewhere, but is it still working at 6.17, the final file size? Let's go back to Task Manager and see if CHD Man is still running. Uh, and uh, no, it's done. So even if there's a disconnect between the UI and it says there's an error, it's probably still running the last one that it was trying, or more than one. So what do we got here? 24.6 gigabytes got us down to 17.5 gigabytes. Listen, if you got a 64 gigabyte uh, SKU or you've got a very small micro SD card, that's a lot. And if you do this at scale, good Lord, it's amazing how much space you can save. Now look at this, look at these source files. What a mess, there's bins, there's track files, everything, and then look up here. Uh, nice, simple list of CHD files. Everything's so nice and clean. It really is a better way of doing business and uh, you get a lot of that space back as well. So Windows is definitely faster, but that doesn't mean if you don't have a Windows computer or a Windows device and you only have a Steam Deck, there's still a way for you to do this. On our Steam Deck, go ahead and run MU Deck. Of course, you're gonna have to make sure all of these uh, ISO files and all of these uh, ROMs are sitting in the right folders, of course, uncompressed, right? And we're gonna run MU Deck Compressor. Now this is basically running the same type of tool. This one will actually pick up and do uh, GameCube and Wii games as well in the RVZ format. Now when you run this thing, it used to be you had to do everything or nothing, but in this case, you can actually pick a file and just do one. 
or do a bolt compress that will do everything. It walked all of my folders and the only folder that had an uncompressed game in it, as you can see here, is the PSP. We select the PSP and hit OK. Now, I'm going to tell you one of the drawbacks on this side is that it's slower. It's a lot slower. If you have a decent Windows PC, it's going to kick butt over running through all these images. It's going to be a lot faster. You could sit here for hours and hours and hours and hours waiting for this compression tool here to work on the Steam Deck. So I highly recommend if you've got a decent Windows PC, gather all of your files into a folder, compress them there, and then move them over to the Steam Deck. It'll be tons faster to do it that way. But this is a working solution if all you have is the Steam Deck. And there you go. That wasn't a very big file, folks, and it took quite a while. Well, it looks pretty good. So now all the files have been compressed on my uh, Emu Deck installation. Looks great. So yeah, if you got Windows, try to use that. It'll be faster. Uh, if you just have a Steam Deck and that's it, obviously we have a means to help you out all the same. Listen, this can really save you a lot of space. And if you like what you saw here, please like this video, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, hit the notification bell for future videos. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.